but privacy, security, and digital identity, I think that the central question, and I, I think it applies to VerisCoin because it's one of the very few that that posits a solution to all of these at the base layer. Let's start with why. Why Why did VerisCoin say we need all these things and possibly, and more, right, including scale? You mentioned a lot of a lot of problem domains that VerisCoin and the, the extended ecosystem, I guess you could say, that it targets. What happened? Why did this become the target? Well, when we think of it, we actually don't think of it as a lot of problem domains. A lot of people in crypto might think of it that way because crypto is so fragmented and everybody's trying to solve little point solutions all over the place. And our reason for doing this was actually, it's, it's outlined in our vision paper that we wrote five years ago. And that's actually everything that's outlined in there is done and works. And the reason that we did this was really to bring decentralized, permissionless technology to everyone in the world at scale. That's really, it's that simple because there isn't anyone else doing that, believe it or not. It seems like there might be, but everyone's talking about, oh, we can't scale this because everybody needs to use our single blockchain. And if everybody uses our single blockchain, then it won't scale to the world. Well, yeah, really, because if everybody uses your single server on the internet, you won't scale to the world either. And so maybe that whole model of, you know, I need to take all the money so that the world can scale on my personal blockchain. Maybe that's just wrong. So what we did instead is we said, what do people need? People need privacy. People need permissionless access to financial systems. People need to have the ability to transact with each other in a decentralized way without having to get permission from someone to just transact with each other. And so that is kind of the basis for what we did. And the model, like we believe that decentralized technologies can be used for voting. So VARES can be used for any size, elections, voting, polls, and that's built into the technology. We basically said in order to give the world, people of the world, scalable, decentralized technology that allows them to be part of the world conversation, to be part of the world economy in a way that someone can't shut a single person out. They can be part of it, they can have privacy and they can speak up without being deplatformed. They don't have to say who they are, they don't have to dox themselves, but they can still be part of the conversation. And you know, and this is the kind of technology that we as people need. So it really wasn't let's solve ID or let's solve this or let's pick a thing to solve. It was really the world needs actual decentralization.